Let's uh let's move off of such a serious topic and we'll get back into it again here in just a minute. But Chris sent me something interesting earlier that I, I've got to I got to jump in on. I I got to bring it up. I just uh, you know me and apologies. I don't like apologies. A nobody ever in the world has to ever say they're sorry to me ever ever oh, ever ever for agree. anything. I just want people to change your actions. If you did something wrong, just don't do it wrong again. Like, that's it. You don't have to say you're sorry. If it was an accident, you definitely don't have to say you're sorry. You didn't mean to do anything wrong. That's fine. When I see companies I think you make it worse. for stuff. I think you make it worse when you actually do apologize. Now, sometimes. But, but and, and this isn't like the Trump, like, I don't apologize for nothing kind of stuff, okay? This isn't an egotistical thing. This is a, a other people to me don't have to ever apologize to me, all yeah. right? When I watch companies apologize and say they're sorry for things, I'm always curious as to somebody made you do that because you're a corporation. Corporations don't have feelings. And, and why did you apologize? Who like made you bend the knee to say you're sorry? And I think this is weird. So in South Korea, uh, a South Korean soccer club has apologized after being accused of putting sex dolls in empty seats during a match. Now, they have been doing this all over the place. They're trying to fill up the stands. uh, (laughs) For the television. They want it to look like bodies are in the television. McKinnon said, you mean I don't have to apologize for saying Tom Brady isn't the best ever? (laughs) You don't have to. No, but the fact that you said it publicly just lets everybody know you're an idiot. (laughs) I don't know. And now everybody gets to discredit your opinion for this point forward for the rest of your life. I think he's the best quarterback ever. But anybody who doesn't. Needs to bring a much better ar- argument than McKinnon, who had him fifth. Yeah, that's that's a little crazy. But and but, hang on, in no. the top f- four above him was not Joe Montana, Harchon Elway. Yeah, the only other two people that people consider an equal to him are comparable. So yeah, uh, so the South Korean soccer club has apologized after being accused of putting sex dolls in empty seats during a match. Uh, FC Seoul, is it Seoul? How, how do you say that? S-E-O-U-L. You're outside of my realm of being able to anyway, pronounce anything. They, they expressed, quote, sincere remorse over the controversy, but insisted in a statement that it used mannequins, not sex dolls, to mimic a home crowd during Sunday's one to nothing win over Guangzhou FC at the World Cup Stadium. Following a week's-long delay because of the coronavirus pandemic, the K-League returned to action on May 8th without spectators days after professional baseball began under similar conditions. The leagues plan to play in empty stadiums until the risks of coronavirus infections are lowered. Um, And so, and it it goes into detail about this, but they they reused some mannequins it previously supplied to another company and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, you know, if you look at the picture, like honestly, unless you know exactly what that is, you're not going to know that it's sex dolls. Like that's just goofy. What is the difference (laughs) between a mannequin and a sex doll? Nothing other than... And one of them's got their mouth open. Because I'm gonna, well, I'm I'm gonna bet that I know people. I know people that if you put them in a department store full of nothing but mannequins with faces on them, at some point in time, if nobody else is around, those friends are gonna make those mannequin sex dolls. Yes, a hundred percent. Ben, a hey, Ben said by the way, Dan Marino. Look, Dan Marino, fantastic. If you're talking about the most talented quarterback, it's fine. I'm not. Maybe. We're not. But whatever. We're not, listen, uh, Lane. The, 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 we're not doing that. Yeah, we're not getting into that. Lane said, uh, uh, imagine walking into a stadium and seeing millions of sex dolls. I'd leave the first time I see it. Uh, yeah, but some so people would. There are stores, there oh. are restaurants that are opening up in our country that to help the social distance, they're taking the tables that they don't weren't allowing people to occupy and they're putting mannequins in them. Yeah. There's another place that I've, I've seen a report. I didn't actually read it, but somebody else that I listened to talked about it where this restaurant put a, like one of those giant stuffed animals in tables (laughs) so people could eat, but not feel like they're eating alone. You talk to a guy that eats by himself a lot. And I I just thought that is way creepier than sitting in an empty restaurant. Oh, I agree a hundred percent. Now I I am not creeped out by many things. I'm not one of these guys. that's like afraid of clowns or whatever. I have two irrational fears. That's it. Snakes and heights. And uh, like other thing, but I do find mannequins a little creepy. Oh, they're a hundred percent creepy. Hundred percent. By the way, Ben and McKinnon both uh, corrected me. It is soul, like that's how okay. it's pronounced. 
Uh, McKinnon said, to be fair, I'm just a hillbilly. I know a lot about guns, only a little about sports. That's why I watch Winning Cures Everything. Yeah, there you go. I appreciate that. We uh, we definitely appreciate that. So, but yeah, I, this was, uh, it was strange to apologize for this, especially when they didn't actually do anything wrong. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, I, I, A, I'm going to guarantee you some of those dolls were sex dolls. Maybe so, but they had masks on. Sex dolls on. is probably like it, a lot easier than getting their hands on mannequins. Uh, well, mannequins are cheaper, but... But who cares? Uh, yeah, well, that's that's the whole point, right? At the point, end of right? the day, who cares? they're clothed. They're not sitting there naked. They're clothed. I mean, they are. Just sit them there. They, they're all clothed, and they have the masks on. So show... I think, oh, my like, God, they even put the mask... They did put the mask on. Yes. You're right, I forgot about that picture. Listen, all I know is this. Look, you win the soccer match, you get the sex dolls in the so- in the winning locker room. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> it comes it comes with a game check or whatever trophy you want or whatever. You get a game ball and you get the sex doll. That's just part of it. Ben uh Ben is feeling himself today. He said, Why does this matter? It doesn't none of this matters. <laughs> none of the stuff that we talk why about we, matters. Why are you watching a sports <laughs> show with two guys that don't know shit about shit? Like that, yeah. We don't talk about anything that matters. No, none of the stuff that we talk about has anything well, to do with life. Especially not right now. With life. Like it doesn't matter. But it even You're coming still, here for life coaching. We, that, I'll tell you, you know. what I'll tell you why it matters because it's entertaining. There okay. you go. So All that's right. that's what we strive to be every single day is entertaining. That's You're not it. entertained by sex dolls and Korea, South Korea, I can't help you. I yeah, mean, they, I, you know. <laughs> I just don't understand why they had to apologize. I don't either. It makes no sense. We want it. We want, look, we have a lot of sex dolls not being used and we got, got a bundle package and got them on sale and and got them for cheap. We're just trying to fill the stands. We're not focusing on the sex dolls. Maybe we'll auction them off later. Uh, Lane step gaming said, if you sit next to a mannequin, you never know if that sucker's alive. Uh, And then Damien said, the difference between a mannequin and a sex doll is one's inflatable. One's made out of wood. Well, it depends on where you get the doll. I'm just uh, <laughs> most of those mannequins are made out of plastic. The inflatable ones are made out of plastic too. They just got air inside of them. And I'm gonna tell you, not to get weird, you can poke a hole in that thing. Yeah. Uh Ben said, like, why are they complain or why are they uh, apologizing? Well, they're apologizing well, somebody because people has complain. gotten offended by this. Yeah. Somebody is but and this you know what tell you what, what how this makes me feel a little bit better? We're not the only country with piddly ass problems yes. to where our people are offended by looking at a clothed mannequin with a mask on its face and saying, I think those are sex dolls. Well, how do you know that they're sex dolls? Well, because it looks like the doll you bought. Now you're ben. a little embarrassed and everybody knows a uh, doll you've got in the back of your house, a sex doll, and so you're upset and you want to call and complain. There you go. Ben, by the way, said, not why does this topic matter? We apologize. Oh. <laughs> we I mean, to yell at you, Ben. Yeah, we apologize for that. Hey, and that there, there's a good reason that we apologize because we were actually wrong. Why they apologize, no, I, I have no idea. Apologizing, I'm so I, I will apologize. Everybody doesn't have my policy of apology. I don't want the That's world true. to think that you all must be like me. <laughs> that would be a pretty terrible place to live. Yeah. I'm quite certain. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I know you. I know you. All right, uh, McKenna said, once I get over there, I'll take some pictures. Yeah, we appreciate that, buddy. Let us know. Let us know, because he'll, he'll be in Korea in, man, what, like a month oh, or he's so? Gonna, I mean, it, McKinnon's going to be one of those guys that's going to have one of those sex dolls. Uh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Good gracious. 